Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about cutting your model in half. So I can't tell you exactly when, where, or why this will happen, but oftentimes we have people coming in and going, well, I need to take an existing model and chop it in half, maybe 3D printing something, and it's too big to fit on your printer, you need to cut it in smaller pieces. Uh, maybe it's for an artistic or 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 some other view you want to create, um, something other than using sections. Sections, of course, will allow you to go in and view your models if it's cut, but not actually chop it in half. This is the process we're going to talk about is actually going in and chopping a model in half. Let's take a look at how that works right now. Okay, so I got this, uh, this cute little guy right here, and I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to say that I need to just, just like right here at his armpit, just slice them right in half. Now, I do want to point out before I go any further, there are extensions that will do some of this work. So there's extensions out there that will take uh, sections. So you can put a section plane onto it, a model, and then uh, tell the extension to go and actually cut your model at this extension plane. Uh, there's others that let you draw 2D lines and slice through at that point. I just want to look at native tools and, and how I can come in with what I already got and chop this into a couple pieces. Uh, the nice thing about this is this is going to be extremely flexible in that I'm going to create a cutting plane and any place I put that cutting plane, I can chop this model up. So we're going to do, we may, maybe we'll do a couple of these. I'm going to grab this and uh, I'll start by copying him over here and maybe we'll like cut him in half vertically and uh, what the heck, we'll do, we'll do an angled one too. It'll be super weird. Okay, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to create, this is, this right now is happens to be a solid. The nice thing about this process that we're about to jump into is it doesn't have to be a solid. So if I was going to use solid tools to cut this up or break it, uh, I would need this to be a solid. The process I'm going to go through really doesn't require that, so it's kind of nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing. I'm looking from above and I'm going to draw a cutting plane on the ground. So this is not, uh, has nothing to do with the fact that it lines up with the bottom. All this is is parallel to the ground plane. Then I'm going to take my move command and slide that up vertically until I'm where I want to cut. So like I said, I want to go right under his armpit, somewhere like right there, and I want to chop him in half. I'll go a little bit higher. There we go. So right there, I want to cut him in half. What I can do now is I can come into the model. So this, this, this is its own component right here. I'm going to double click to enter the component. I'm going to triple click to select all connected geometry. Then I'm going to right click and say intersect faces with model. So it's important at this point that I don't have anything else in the model. I have the thing I want to cut up and have it all by itself. Then I can say intersect face with model. That's going to find the only thing that this geometry intersects with is this plane that I drew. See that? That's the only piece. Everything else is far away. So what that's done at this point, if I grab this and slide it over, is it has gone in and it's drawn a line basically all the way around. So if I peek in here, there we go. So you just created that line all the way across. It's not two pieces at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab everything up to that line. Give it a little bit of, little bit of space below, grab it like that, and I'm going to use move. And I'm not going to actually move it. I'm going to move a copy. So hit my modifier key to copy and then copy that piece over there. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom, grab it like that, option, move that over to copy a chunk over there. All right, and now in this case, I have a little bit of cleanup because I actually hit that right, right in a couple weird spots. I had a couple lines here, but I can pretty easily get rid of those. And then the, the one part that I, I made everything more difficult on myself was I cut just this little teeny chunk of his arm off. So I'll go ahead and delete that. But other than that, when I get rid of that geometry, right there, all I have to do now is draw a single line across here and it's gonna close that up. So now I'm back to having a full solid piece if, if that's what I need. So I can right click, say make group, and that's that. Same thing over here, I come in here and get rid of these extra lines. Oh, this is so weird. I should probably recut it like whatever that is half a millimeter lower so I don't have this little 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 wing sticking out there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just select and delete those. 
And then a single line here is going to, again, close that model and it actually comes out and close that. So I would probably, in all reality, I'd probably just do something like this and get rid of that piece because that's yeah, not really gonna matter. So I can grab all of that, make that a group. And if I wanted to, I could grab this piece and let's grab it by that point right there. Come drop that right there. And then if I wanted to, it's in the same container as this original cut piece. I could, you know, whatever, get rid of that. It's really, at this point, it's up to you. However you want to deal with this, um, maybe I'll explode that out. And I have my two pieces. So if I, if I was, if the, the goal here was to 3D print it, I could, you know, print those two pieces like that. So just to show you real quick, that was a, a you know, uh, extended explanation of how to do that in that vertical plane, but I could take same thing. I grab this geometry, slide this around. So it's right in the middle and do the same thing. I come in here, triple click, intersect face with model. And that's gonna give me a break right down the middle. And then again, I can I can try, if, if I'm really, really, really good at selecting, uh, I might be able to get it without having to do any cleanup. So I could take this, I still can't move it, of course, cause it's gonna, you know, it's connected. So I can't just grab this and slide over, move it. But if I hit my option, I can slide that half over and then I can do another selection of this half. Option, move that over. And then if that all went well, if I was really good at selecting, I should be able to draw a line and close that up. Very easy. Oh yeah, look at that. I did, I got an extra line. One extra line. And then, like I said, if you wanted to, you could actually grab this and, you know, angle it like that. Cool thing about doing this is uh, this is a component or this is closed inside of its own. It's an object. It's whether it's a group or a component. Uh, I don't have to worry about my geometry intersecting with it ever because it's in a separate context. So I can play around with like, okay, where, where do I want to put this on slides over more? And then I want to roll it over a little bit more. So I cut just underneath his ear, something like this. And then, yeah, that's what I want right there. But I don't want to cut his ear there. So I'm just going to draw a line across like that. And then because that plane only connects with this portion of his body, ooh, I cut it close there, didn't I? Literally. But that's fine, because I come in here, intersect face, with model and it'll break it right there. If I want to go, I don't know why I would do this in particular, but if I want to do something like this, rotate this, that wasn't quite what I want to do. Well, here, I'll just do this. Come straight out like this. Something's out of plane here. Um, and then like that, I could actually cut that too, because I could come in and grab this geometry, intersect face with model, and then that's gonna actually break it there. So this of course gets a little bit tougher to select everything, so I might have to use like some, oops. Be, be conscious of how I do that selection. You can say and pull that piece out and then that should be as simple as connecting these two lines together should close that up. And then over here, let's come in like this, deselect that piece. Option, copy that over here. And same thing, all I should have to do, a single line from here to here, close that up. And again, at that point, I've cut that into multiple pieces using just a single plane. No solid tools, no extensions, pretty easy to break these pieces up and uh, slice your model into smaller pieces. So again, as usual, kind of an odd example, but I wanted to keep it simple. 
Um, if you're cutting multiple pieces of phone, take a whole house and chop it in half. I do have to keep in mind any groups, any components that are being cut, bisected, partially sected, I don't know what the word is, but any spots being broken is gonna have to have a separate intersection. I can't just grab everything and say, just intersect it all, because it, it won't work that way. You'll have to go into context to actually make the breaks. If you are wanna come in just like chop everything, that's when you wanna look into some of those section tools that I was talking about, where it'll actually you know break something at a section. For simple models like this, you can see it got quicker and quicker as I explained less, but it's really easy to get a cutting plane in there, intersect with it, and then just pull your geometry apart. If you like that, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and to be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.